Okay, we've been asked to differentiate this quadratic using the def definition of a derivative. Okay, so the definition of a derivative is that for a function y is equal to f of x, its derivative dy over dx is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the function of x plus h minus the function all divided by h. So, what we have to do is we have to get the function at x plus h and then minus away the function at x and then divide it by h. And then most of this question involves algebra. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, I like to uh, work these little bits out individually. So, the function at x plus h is equal to. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in this function here, we're going to replace all the x's with x plus h's. So it's going to be 3 x plus h all squared plus 7 x plus h minus 5. Now if we multiply these brackets out, we're going to have 3, we're still going to have a bracket in this one, because we've got to have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, and that's plus 7x plus 7h minus 5. And finally with this one, we can multiply out that bracket, so we have, this is going to be equal to 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus 7x plus 7h minus 5. Great. Now, what we have to do then is from this we have to subtract the function at x. So from that we have to subtract the function at x. So the function at x is this. So to subtract that we're going to minus 3x squared minus 7x plus 5. So this piece here is minus f of x. Now, what we can see is that we've got a 3x squared here, minus 3x squared here. They will cancel out. We've got a 7x here. We've got a negative 7x there. They're going to cancel out. We've got a minus 5 here, then a plus 5 here. So they're going to cancel out. So what we're left with at the top is we're left with 6 x h plus 3 h squared plus 7 h. Now that's what the result of this numerator operation that we have here. So now what we're going to do 
is we're going to divide all that by h. Cool. So what we'd want to do is to simplify this, we're going to factorize the numerator by h. So we're going to have h outside of 6x plus 3h plus 7. And that's all over h. Now it should be fairly obvious now that we can cancel out these two h's. And that leaves us with just 6x plus 3h plus 7. And finally, what we've got to do is we've got to take the limit as h approaches 0. So the final step to find out dy dx, we have to take the limit as h approaches 0 of 6x plus 3h plus 7. Now, what happens here is as h tends to 0, well this stays the same, 6x has got nothing to do with h and the constant 7 has nothing to do with h, but as h approaches 0, 3 times h will approach 0 as well. So that's going to equal 0. So once we've taken the limit, this 3h is going to disappear. And finally, we have the derivative dy dx equaling 6x plus 7. So that's taking the derivative of this quadratic. We've got a linear function to end up with, which is what we'd expect. Um, a lot of people do it differently to the way I do it. I like to break down this definition of a derivative into its component parts and do them individually. The only reason I do that for myself is just to minimize the chance of me making a silly algebraic mistake halfway through. But um, feel free to do it another way, but you know, this is the way I do it.